We're going to show you how Lilt connects with webtranslated.com to take content from Web Translated, pull it into Lilt, get it translated, and push it back. So first we'll go to webtranslated.com and we'll sign in. So first what we have to do is generate an API token. So we'll click into the project and then we'll go up to the top right here where we see settings slash API tokens. Scroll to the bottom under the access control section and you'll see your private read write project API key. You can select it or click this copy to clipboard button. And then you'll need to email that to your project manager or point of contact at Lilt who can get the integration set up. So now what we have to do is select the target languages that we want Lilt to translate this document into. So we'll go up to the top here and select languages and statistics. And you can see here English is designated as the source language and we've already selected French, German, and Spanish. If you wanted to add a new language, you can do that right here. But in this case, German, French, and Spanish should be fine. So now what we'll do to actually get the translation started is we have to upload our document. So we'll go to File Manager, Upload our Master Language File, choose File, we're going to select test.html here, and click Upload. Web Translated takes that file that we uploaded and creates three new sub-projects below it in each of those target languages. So what you would have done when you're talking with your PM and you're sending them your API token is you'll also agree upon a specified frequency with which Lilt checks Web Translated to see if there are any new projects. So let's pretend that that time period has now passed and Lilt can recognize that test.html is a new file that was uploaded and that these three new projects uh, should show up in Lilt. So now we'll go over to Lilt. All right, so now you can see that those three projects that were in Web Translate have now showed up in Lilt. So let's choose one of these. Let's do the English to French project. We'll click in. And we'll see that that HTML document that was in Web Translate is now showing up in Lilt. So let's go ahead and translate this. So now that we've translated, we'll select Done and get this ready for review. Because we're also acting as the reviewer here, let's go ahead and click Review. Now that the document is done reviewing, we're going to mark it as done. So now that the project is 100% translated and 100% reviewed, let's drag it over to the Done column. So in addition to Lilt checking Web Translated for new projects on that specified frequency, Lilt also checks for projects that have been taken from Web Translate and moved into the Done column on that same specified frequency. Now that this project has moved into the Done column, let's pretend that that time period has once again passed. So we'll go over to Translations, and we'll select the French translation. You can see now on the right hand side that that translated text now shows up in Web Translated. So with the Web Translated and Lilt connector, you can sync Web Translated and Lilt to pull content from Web Translated, translate it in Lilt, and push it back 